you ever get in your 60s or 70s Ford, turn the key and nothing happens? Like not even a solenoid click, just nothing happens. A lot of the times, this is it. This is your neutral safety switch. Uh, you'll find it on 60s and 70s Fords with a C4 automatic transmission. I don't know, maybe an FMX or a C6. Um, but basically this is like an electric switch so it's got current coming into it and then it's going to make contact to let current go back out to tell the ignition it's okay to turn the motor over and start so on my car this was on a 67 cougar it would only start in neutral so what happens your shifter is back here so whenever you click it park reverse neutral drive it's going to turn this little nylon bushing click click so let's say I'm in park, reverse, neutral, drive. So turn the key, nothing happens. Nope, you gotta put it back in neutral or in park. Turn the key, then you can start. So I'm gonna guess what happened is the contacts in here are just completely worn out. So I replaced this with, I already took the, took the unit out and put it on the car, but this is a Daniel Carpenter neutral safety switch. It says it'll do a C4 and a C6. Um, and as soon as I stuck that in the car, it started right up, no problem, in park and neutral. So let's just take this apart and see what fails. It looks like we have a couple of rivets here, and it might uh, allow the internals to let go from this case. Just gonna drill these rivets. go okay well there you have it yeah this one is 100% worn out um, it looks like we had a couple of little roller pins in there and there's a spring right here another one still bedded down in that hole and the opposite side of this it's just all sorts of gross looking. This probably had transmission oil and water and dirt inside there just to wear that thing down like sandpaper. So you can see whenever you're shifting, it's sliding this mechanism inside that housing. So let's pretend it's in park, reverse, neutral, drive, second, low. And it's going to send a signal. Now we can see there's a copper contact bar, a little plate in there. So in order for this to be satisfied and to send that signal back through to your ignition, these little metal pins are probably what's making that contact in there right in there on top of that spring so when this gets all gunked up or when parts and pieces are coming apart like that then it ain't gonna work and the best solution is to get a new one because it's pretty cheap like 30 bucks or something I went ahead and cleaned this thing up, just hosed it down, so now we can really understand what's going on with your C4, C6, neutral safety. So when you put the car in park, uh, it should start the way you adjust this thing. You have to put it in neutral. You see this little hole right there? Right now you look in that hole, you just see this colored plastic right there behind it. So whenever you put this thing in neutral, now that hole is going to line up. Say park, reverse, neutral. So you can poke your drill bit or an aerosol spray tube like what I've got here. It should go in about a half inch. 
So it's in neutral, then you tighten down your nuts on this thing, pull your drill bit out or whatever you got, and then the car should start in neutral or park. So what's happening, let's pluck this off. Okay, this is basically a circuit board. Now you can see these little brass dots and that copper. So if I poke this straw back through there, let's make sure we're in neutral. Okay, it goes through the hole. So I'm gonna hold that still. Let's line this thing back up and just roll it out. Okay, it might look like this short roller is making contact between these two brass dots. I don't think that's actually what's happening. I think the short roller is just on this side of that plastic shoulder between the brass and the copper. What's making contact is the long roller. Okay, between this brass dot and the copper. So let's put it back in part. So here that hole is lined up. We're gonna go reverse into park. The short brass roller doesn't touch anything way over here on the outside edge. The long brass roller is pretty well centered. It's making contact with this brass dot and the copper. So for it to start in park or neutral, it's wanting to send current between here and that copper or between here and that copper. Any other position on here, it's not gonna start. So you can take this thing apart and clean it like what I did. You can see those springs are bedded down in the plastic. That's what's pushing these little brass rollers up to make that contact. This would probably work now that I've got it cleaned. You could stick it back together, seal it up, you know, put some silicone or something around the edge so you don't get gunk inside there. Um, what you might also do is take your multimeter and check for continuity between here, between the pigtail and um, the little contact points on the circuit board. Now I've already done that. So I can tell you, you've got, basically you've got two red wires and two black wires coming in here. In order for this circuit to be happy, it wants either this brass dot connected here or this brass dot, and that's gonna be those two red wires. Okay, so if I take this male bullet that's got the red wire on it, and I touch that copper, now I've got continuity through there. It doesn't register anything if I touch any other brass. I've got zero, 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 and zero. Okay, if I touch, if I go into this male bullet that's got the black wire on it, see I've got zero because I'm touching that copper that we already know is that red wire. So there we've got something and zero here. So I know to make this happy, I've already checked it, it's this other red wire coming into this lead. So if you connect both of these red wires, the car's going to start in park, neutral, or any other gear. Basically you would be bypassing the circuit and hot wiring your neutral safety switch if you jump these two. Um, that's a temporary fix. You know, if you can't wait a week or two to get this part in, um, you know, if your auto parts store doesn't have it on the shelf and you have to order it and you have to have your vehicle, then you can go to the other end of this pigtail that's on your car and jump the red to the red. Uh, that's what it is on this 67 C4. Yeah, I don't know if they're different colors on your vehicle. Let me take you to the car and I'll show you what I did. Okay. So the transmission, you know, is down in there and that neutral safety switch lead is coming up the firewall. Now I've disconnected the new one that I just put on the car, which is right here. It's got two red wires, two black wires. 
So the bit that's on the car, this is not hot. It doesn't have energy in it until you turn the key on. Now it's got paint and stuff on it now, but these two red wires are on top. So I just took an alligator clip and just jumped between that male bullet and the female. So the neutral safety switch is disconnected and now I can get in the car and start it even though that switch is disconnected. So right now it's in park. It starts real easy with gas. But anyway, so it wouldn't even turn over if the switch were connected and it were bad. Okay, but now it's in reverse and it still turns over. Okay, so that's the danger of doing a hot wire is you could start it in gear and accidentally let the car run off, run over a person, damage property, whatever. So it's ill-advised to bypass your neutral safety switch. But if you're in a pinch and you have to get your car going, that's what you can do. And just to wrap up, I want to show you that nice shiny part is the new neutral safety switch. So it's got that shift linkage running behind it. And whenever that thing goes into park or neutral, then it'll rotate uh, into the appropriate spot and make contact and allow me to start the car. But like I said, it's pretty simple to take this thing apart. You can probably fix it and just stick it back together. You know, put some epoxy on there or something to hold it together. And it may work for you and you might not have to buy a new one. This Daniel Carpenter unit seems a little bit better than the old Ford unit. Uh, this is a C9ZZ7247 uh, for a 67 to 69. I don't know how they were different in later years, but hopefully this was helpful for you.